Now, in other news, this next story serving as an unfortunate example of what too much of a good thing looks like. Specifically, how coronavirus regulations enforcement in Israel can apparently be taken way too far. An Israeli woman heading to the hospital to file a police report after reportedly being raped while in vacation in the Sinai Peninsula just before. But rather than being met with empathy and concern by Israeli authorities at the hospital, the woman was reportedly reprimanded, and her friend who came in support was likewise fined. And this for breaking quarantine to come to the hospital in the first place. According to the report, the woman, a 23-year-old resident from Rehovot, was traveling to, to the Sinai Peninsula with another female friend. Together, they signed up there for a diving lesson. The alleged victim, however, claims that while in the water, she was sexually assaulted and raped by the instructor. So the pair cut their trip short, and they returned to Israel, after which they headed to the emergency room at Wolfson Medical Center in Cholon. It's here, however, that the police officer who was summoned to, to the hospital to take the woman's testimony punished the two women instead of helping them. The reason? They're not vaccinated, and they violated quarantine to head to the ER. In fact, the officer reportedly told the alleged victim that she should have waited until after completing quarantine and only then go to the police station to give her testimony. Still, the woman telling Channel 12 that she was, quote, disappointed to meet such an insensitive officer, a sentiment that other victims in the past have likewise expressed with respect to Israeli of officials' apparently overly dismissive handling of such cases. In response, the police have since added that the 5,000 shekel fine levied at the friend will be re-evaluated.